Hello and welcome back to some more Battle Princess Madeline. As this Stitch boss is stitching together all the land, but he hasn't got quite everything under control. So we're off to Spain for a holiday. Or, you know, to save people as the death comes from us. The dead are rising from their tombs and crawling quite literally towards us. Where's the welcoming party here? I'm just saying Spain's not welcoming. Okay, I'm gonna maybe go in this hole. It's not a hole that we can go in. Okay, so we've got a long path up. Mm, there's an area actually just to the right. That's there's something up there. It's not a boss tour, is it? Because, you know, if we haven't got a boss to for that door, it's like, is this going to be a waste of time climbing this? I know I'm not doing all of the side quests, but... Well, unless there's awkward jump. <laughs> if I haven't unlocked the jumping feature and we can't go through that and the jump's just annoying to get to then we're gonna leave it so I'm sorry whatever's up there I'm sure you're very interesting but I, I lack the ability to jump up there for now maybe forever so you get to survive you get to remain a secret you jump the jump is not good enough. Right, we're using this guy's undead sword even though I don't think it's actually better. I didn't check whether we could... Do you see that weird swiping? Um, These woods are no place for a young lady. Although you do seem to be well armed, I would still advise to practice caution. This is a dangerous place. I'll be fine, I'm sure. If you insist, then I must trust you. Young lady, may I point out that I find your companion quite odd. My companion isn't odd in the least. He's been more of a help to me than you'd believe. He's kept me alive, even though his powers actually do not work. His name is Fritzy. They're on the Fritz a bit. Who are you? I'm Don Ramiro! I fight for my king and country. Who might you be, young lady? I'm Princess Madeleine Alanahan of the Emerald Isle. I've been sent here to find the magic runestone. I'm on my way to save my family and I have been told that the runestone will be quite helpful to me. I think I know exactly where this stone might be. I know I'm supposed to be Spanish, but I'm acquainted with the sorcerer known for conquering magic in the dark arts. I imagine he would know where this stone is or perhaps he possesses what he's the one who possesses it. But tell me where I can find your source from. Indeed I do, Princess. I could tell you. Um, but we must first go into town and get a magical item to help you reach your goal. Maybe it'll help you actually jump higher. Follow me, Princess. <laughs> Follow me. I know you've been wanting this a long time. But, you know, maybe I'm just teasing you and there isn't an extra jump height. Oh, it's a dog wig. It's a fancy ass dog wig. Who would have guessed it? <laughs> that's that. You put that on your dog? Really? A judge wig. He's a dog, isn't he? A block. Interesting. Um, I've lost my friend. <clears throat> I saw that sword. I didn't jump it. He's got the same weapon as me. So I've now upgraded my. Oh, hello. Slytherin? No, we're dying. You look like you should make. Why are you fine back? <laughs> um, if I broke the AI on this game. You feel like you're meant to be some sort of mini boss, but you fired your magic back into it. I also feel like I'm supposed to be up there. Hello, that's an interesting creature. Also, you know, we were talking like we met all of these creatures when we did that. Well, See, there's a reason to be up there for him, but we completely failed at getting it. Maybe he starts firing that way because of that. Well, we didn't actually get it. This is mincing all the creatures in this land. Were we meant to start on this side? Did I start at the hardest land? Okay, I'm going to presume we're getting like a double jump. Not a double jump, but you know, a higher jump or a triple jump. And it's going to help us get to that thing there better than we can do. And he's firing backwards again. Hello, birdies. Town? 
Can't go in this just yet. Or ever. You're sealed away. There's no point. You're, you're gonna die anyway. Headless. You're running around like a headless torso. You're not a headless chicken. Princess! We'll have to find another way across. Let's just check in the houses for clues. I'm able to get by. I'll head back to the cliffs then. Just go back the way you came from. Yes, I'll try this house I'll see you soon. I'm sorry I couldn't be more assistance here. I'm clearing path you through monsters. Good luck. He's not Don Quixote, remember? He's Don Ramiro. He's a British knockoff. Okay. What's this musical instrument? We have a guest. You look strangely familiar. I'm Princess Madeline Melon, home of the Emerald Isle. I sound a lot more mature now. I've, I've grown up throughout this playthrough. I apologise for just barging into your house. Don Romero told me I could find help here. Princess Madeline, I thought I'd recognise you. I'm Javier, and this is my family, Olivia and Leia. I'm a musician by trade, although I've been known to teach math to the local children. So Don Romero sent you here. Then I know exactly what you're looking for. My good friends, Juan. Don Juan. Don here, is he? More like. Um, that's a magical pogo wand. That's his home. But as you can see the bridge is out, I'll have to take the shortcuts. It's just down this ladder, though be careful. It's dark and full of traps. It's the remains of an old castle dungeon, I believe. I'll yell over to one that you're coming. <laughs> I'm sure he'll hear you. Good luck on your quest, princess. I don't know what to say. Thank you ever so much, Javier. The <laughs> pleasure of meeting you and all your family is mine. I'm something a hell of a lot more real, aren't I? I'm sure we'll meet again. Thank you. Can I just steal your magical instruments? No. <laughs> your magical flying instruments? Hmm. You can levitate your instruments into the sky. Could you not just levitate me across with your telekinetic power? Could I take a ride on your instrument? That, that sounds dirty. <laughs> Let me ride on your instruments. No. <laughs> That's not the connotation we were going for. But surely, if you've got levitating musical instruments, can I not just stand on one of those? They looked fairly huge and hefty. They might support my weight going across. You know, not exactly a chungus. <laughs> so, yeah, just levitate me across. If you can levitate that, then surely you can levitate. I know in my armour I'm probably a lot bigger, right? Also, there's ways that maybe we could have just fell down on the Also, maybe we need pogo pals to get up those. Yeah, Pogo. Hmm, there's clearly something up there. Okay, there's a way down there and a way down there. The greed to explore everywhere is always ever present, but. We'll just carry on. And we do fire things with this as well. We're like firing down with blasts. Was that blast coming from me or was that coming from Fritz? Drop off. It comes from me, definitely not Fritzy. <laughs> I was just checking, you know, it's like, is there some sort of weird bug where he can only do it at the, the bottom of a long floor? Okay, I don't know why these ladders are there. Maybe to grab onto, but they just seem more like for show than anything. Okay, easily owns that guy. This sword maybe is more powerful than our dad's sword, so stick with it. Right, ladders that we're going to have to climb. This time, just go direct routes. I should have embraced this and gone through it. We would have been perfectly fine. Why can't I grab this ladder? There we go. <laughs> carry on, carrying on. Just progress all the way. Money. We're a princess that cares little for money. We're actually quite rich. Um, come on. We were up. Hello. Ah, oh, Princess Madeline, I was told you'd be coming through the shortcuts. <laughs> Even though you could probably just jump out the window and get here. I'm one, and this is my family, Carol and Luna. Leo and Luna. Um, we're pleased to meet you. It's fantastic to meet you. I guess you already know Javier, thank you. Heck of a shortcut you have there. 
Yes, it's become more dangerous since the monsters flooded the area. Speaking of which, I was something for you. A new friend of Don Romero is a friend of ours. Thank you kindly. It's just what I need to get up that pesky cliff. Thank you for everything. A pogo stick. How do I use that? <laughs> also, the change is literally... I could have totally jumped from that house to this house. I do not understand how that is helpful. It's some sort of weapon? Invention. Let's... Okay. No. So we've got a magic wand. Okay, so we've got a spear level 2. There's a blank. There's a dagger level 2. There's a sword level 2. There's a wand. There's a lot of weapons that I've completely missed. We've got a katana. We've got two runes, we've got some gaps, we've got armor, stitch block gears, we've got a build book, we've got some stuff that doesn't seem to be ticked. A stunning heart, a chicken, wooden spoon, a dazzling spoon. I'm not understanding how this bond helps me, it's not a pogo. Okay, if I fully charge it, wait. What? Okay. Freaky was firing. He doesn't do anything with this one. But I can make him actually do stuff. Oh my god! One of the rooms actually does something. The wave. Like, nothing happens with the wave with firing. But, if we do this, we can actually make Fritzy fire. Fritzy. This is death, isn't it? I don't see how this item helps me get up a cliff. You've gave me a magic wand that shoots projectiles. I do not see how it helps me get up the cliff. But, Fritzy! Right, it must just be that one power is bugged. Like, whatever the hell we're meant to do to get that thing to fire, it's not working. So, I feel like Frizzy isn't even using charges to fight, right? so he's just gonna fire that. This is an area that's locked. I'm sure one will explain that how this works right also why can't I charge this although maybe that's just whatever that fritzy power is that that's the fritzy power that's not the ones holding it down is the fritzy power that didn't exist before This wand somehow will help us to jump up that cliff, and I don't understand it. Right? Put the fridge pair that actually works. Okay, then we'll stick with the sword. Okay. Right. I'm sure one will explain how this gets us up there. <laughs> so Fridgey is actually being helpful now, but still not in a way that actually works for us. Don't mind me. Um, the bridge was out, yet I could just jump straight over. <laughs> I didn't need to come in. I could have just skipped that and ran across there. Okay, you cleared all the monsters out. I don't see how this is going to help me get up this cliff, though. I, I do not feel like I jump higher or anything. Or pogo. I don't feel like I pogo at all. But I'm sure Don Romero will explain to us how this works. He says confidently. I'm sure he will explain. I'm sure we won't have any issues climbing this cliff. 
my jump height does not feel boosted. I do not feel like I can pogo. It's Don Romero. I'm putting a lot of trust in you. I'm looking everywhere as well to see if there's anything else to do. Okay, Don Romero. I'm trusting you. You've given me something to help me get up this pesky cliff. I'm sure you've given me something that will actually help me get up this pesky cliff. So, you gave me this chicken staff. What? Okay. I think this, whatever he gave me, helped me actually get Fritz's powers. <laughs> okay. Maybe this does augment my jump. I think this power is literally a jump augmentation. <laughs> I'm claiming it as a jump augmentation. I feel like I can jump higher with it. Okay, your bats. Shit. I mean, we at least got that far with it. Okay, it's running out. You know, maybe it's all in the minds. Okay, you're a problem. Fix it. Get it. <laughs> okay. No. Shit. Fuck. Okay. We can totally do this jump again, right? Charge up! Wait, do we somersault? Which we don't... No, we do normally somersault. It's definitely helping me, right? It's not just in my head. <laughs> we definitely weren't able to make that jump before, and now we can. So... Is it in my head? Also, maybe chicken staff can kill ghosts. Chicken staff has got to kill ghosts, right? Chicken staff does not kill ghosts. Okay. That's annoying. Precision jumping. <laughs> Fritzy, please. Yikes! Okay, well... We perished! We just need to do it again. Is it all in my head? Okay, we can just jump higher. I'm gonna assume he's giving me a higher jump. And it's not just that I couldn't make it. It's gotta be, right? He's gotta have upgraded my jump lights a little. Because that's easier now. Right? Okay, this is still a terrible jump that's impossible. Okay, I don't understand what that other Fritzy power does. These aren't ways in. They feel like they should be ways in, but nothing's going on. You can't run to the right there. This ghost is legitimately in the worst place possible. That's a frame perfect jump. Even with this additional jump height, that's frame perfect. Okay. I'm gonna give it one last attempt and then. Okay, I fuck it up. It'll definitely help me get up this cliff. Definitely help with those pesky ghosts. This chicken staff that seems to do nothing to them. It's def definitely help as we almost think we're falling off. Okay. 
this frame perfect jump with the ghosts in the way it is. I pressed too early with the second jump. Like, you know, it's frame perfect. Like, double frame perfect. Because we have to be on the right frame for the first jump. And then we have to press it at the right heights as well for the jump heights. Which is... Awkward. Whoop! Ah, what am I doing? I thought, well, you know, every time I try to go back, I fail. Let's just go to the other platform. And then I landed on the platform and walked on. Yeah, I do think it gave me an extra bit of jump height, but still. Do you want to come back to life? No. Good. Okay. A breather. When it drops the input, though, it's <laughs> oh my god! How dare you? It's not good. Okay, get it my way, ghost that I cannot kill. Too low. Okay. There's just no pin out of that. And because I'm going to forget where I am. Okay, that was Spain. We're just going to go to Italy and then I'm going to call it a day. I'm done for the day. <laughs> That's bad. Okay, thanks for watching. Join us again for some more. Goodbye.